Hi everybody, it's Wanda. A day or two ago, Angie Gall, who watches my videos, had posted in my Facebook group that she thought that my mica texture technique looked like hammered metal. And you know, I really hadn't thought of that. So immediately what came to my mind was hammered copper. And I haven't done a copper one. And then I got to thinking, what colors of copper can I use that are different? You know, I don't have that many, I didn't think. But I came down here into the basement and I found something that I want to try and we'll see how it goes. And I haven't decided yet about using the blow dryer. I think I may try to use a straw and blow sections of it so it looks more like a hammer hit. But this is a 12 by 12. Ooh, it's a 12 by 12. It is a 12 by 12. So I was thinking a 10 by 10 and I had a three ounce cup. So I had to go get a five ounce. Um, so I'm going to show you my colors and we will see how this goes. I have some that are very similar and I want to see when it dries if they look like different colors or if they come across the same. They're different brands. So, um, and then I threw one in that is a gold, but it's a red gold. And it's this one, the Rojo Gold, that's made by Chroma. I love these paints. They're so creamy and they mix up so good. I have mixed everything, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. This one is the copper in the Chroma paints. This one is Anita's Bronze because I've thought that it looks like a lighter shade of copper. And this is my copper that I get from Louisiana, which looks very similar, and especially in the cup, really looks like almost the exact same thing. I'm going to see if I can show you all this um, up close in the camera. These colors look very, very similar to each other. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. And this one is the Chroma Copper. And it, as you can tell in the cup, looks very similar to the Rojo, but I know this red dries really red. So I won't be adding a lot of it. Um, I was thinking all along that I needed three ounces of paint, so I hope I have plenty. Um, let me add some more of this because this is already mixed with Floetrol and just see if I can get a little more of that to empty out that bottle. When I get down low, sometimes I'll guesstimate and add some Floetrol and just shake it up in the bottle and leave it. And then I mark the bottle that it has Floetrol in it. So I did that with that one. So I'm going to try layering some of these. And maybe I'll go every other one. I'm just going to do a dirty cup. It may not really matter. There does seem, oops, does seem to be a little difference. As you can tell, I am a klutz. That's that red now. I'm going to put it off to the side and not add any more. I might could have gotten away with adding just a little bit of gold, of like a dark gold to this, because it might have blended pretty well. But I just wanted to try this and see what happens. So I think I have about four ounces. I can't remember what a 12 by 12 gets, and I'm not over there. But that's how my cup looks.
I'm going to scrape it all out though, if I can. Stretch it and see if I have enough. You do want for this um, technique, you do want to have a little thicker paint than you would for some techniques, as you can tell by the way it's running. All right. Okay, I edited out some of that because it took forever. It took forever to stretch it. So, let me see what I can do with this now. Make it look like hammered copper. I'm gonna blow it. Going to blow it. I think this does look somewhat hammered. I was afraid that it wouldn't, that it would look too just swirly. And it does have some swirls in it, but like this in here and right up here does look like that hammered look. So I'm not unhappy with this. Ooh, can't wait to see how it dries. I think it's very cool, very cool. Having a little bit more paint on the canvas really helps. Um, so, helps it to move and float around some. And this will look like it's standing up almost, but it'll dry completely flat. And it looks like I have texture in just about all the different areas. This is a little blah right here in this one. So, let me see if I can get it to look a little better. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Now I gotta come up with something snazzy to put on top of it. I think these make beautiful backgrounds. Um, I just have to decide what it is in the way of artwork or a transfer or something that I wanna put on top of that and finish it out. 
So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll take the camera down now and give you a close up. So this is how it looks from my perspective. I love all this down in here because it really does almost look like a hammer strike. Um, some of it is more wavy, like right in there. But I wasn't going to take your all's time up standing here blowing five million times with a straw because that wasn't getting me anywhere fast. So we'll just see how it dries. I kind of like it. Can't wait to see how it dries and what color it is. Now, it will be a little different color once I get upstairs because there's more light up there. And the final picture of it will be dry and it'll be in different lighting than, you know, using the camera down here. So thank you so much. Happy Labor Day. Today is Labor Day. It's late in the afternoon here. And I'm keeping an eye on Hurricane Dorian because my daughter is in West Palm Beach. So hopefully it will stay offshore and everything will be okay. So thank you for watching.